guess um, even some of the Mariners fans might not know that you started at Western Sydney. So you're the perfect man to talk this morning <laughs> up against your old mob. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I was had uh, two and a half years there in the youth team, and then obviously the opportunity came to come here and have a look back since, and I don't regret anything. Yeah, mate, I'm loving the way you're playing. Yeah. And uh, I was commentating last year, and you were playing for the Jets. Yeah. And I said, Sammy Silvera has gone away from the Mariners and just improved astronomically. Mm. Can you share with our viewers what you've kind of really worked on in the last couple of years? Because your game has just gone yeah, another level. Yeah. Um, I think. From when I was in Portugal, that was a big adjustment to what I've learned over there Just and then bringing it back to Australian football. So obviously it's a different style, but um, obviously learning a lot, just the, the different culture and different ways they play. And then I'm able to adapt that to the game here. And then I'm obviously able to adapt that to my own style. And I'm just starting to enjoy my football a lot more. And the chances that I've been given with Monty and Serge is being able to bring that out even more looks that way too and uh, congratulations on everything you've done. When you're in Portugal, you played for three clubs. Can you tell us more about those clubs and their history and their culture and also I'd imagine it's just so highly technical. Yeah, yeah. So the first team I went on loan to, um, Casapia, that was a team that was trying to push into the first division where they are now and they're doing very good from what I know. But um, at the time it was such a competitive uh, team. Uh, I got injured first game and it just it didn't help me. I was out for a good probably four and a half months where I was struggling to just get in the team. And obviously, once you're not playing, then they have to bring in other players. And um, that's the reality of it. I tried to get back in the squad, but I felt like I needed to move on again just to, again, get game time. I hadn't played in a good six months. So then I went out and loan again and got game time and I was starting to enjoy my football again. And then I went back um, to my club that signed me in the first division and I had a very good pre-season. And that's where the coach spoke to me and said, I really like you. And, but he just wants to see me have more game time and, and score goals. And that's when I made the decision to go on loan. And yeah, now I'm back here. Yeah, yeah. You, um, like it seems like you almost went through a metabolic so you're mm. super talented when you're here the first time. It looks like every aspect is better. Like, uh, have you worked a lot on your speed too? Because that's one thing I'm loving with you on the left edge. Yeah, I think that was a big key component of overseas as well. They focused a lot on power work, not so much um, endurance work. It was more power, like getting to the ball, recovering and stuff like that. So that's a very big um aspect of my game that I feel I've improved at, especially my defensive efforts. That was something that was kind of, um, I'd say, exposed over in Portugal because you, if you can do it in attack, you got to do it in, def in defence. And again, Monty and Serge are getting that out of me even more and more and they're getting on me and that's the one part I'm still working on and I know they'll keep getting on me about that. Yeah, and you mentioned about being in Portugal, being told to, uh, you know, to attack and score. Mm. And that's one thing we've seen this season from you. you got licence to shoot. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I think with the opportunity that Monty and Serge have given me, and basically Monty has said, like, once I get in the attacking third, you do what you want. Um, and that's really encouraging. And obviously to have that license, just to be able to have that freedom. But then obviously when I got to do my defensive work, I do it in the in our um in our back half playing out. I got to stick to the principles and everything. But again, once I get in that front third, it's just I'm able to do that. Yeah, what I want. It's amazing that you're still. Seems mm. like you've been around forever, like born in 2000. Mm. Hey, um, give, me, give me your thoughts on the Wanderers. Uh, it's two versus three on the table. You're level on points. It's yeah. going to be an absolute blockbuster. But they haven't beaten you this year. You got the big win first up and then two all draw last time. Oh, it'll be a tough game, to say the least. I think they're, they're going to be fired up. They, um, yeah, they haven't... Um, got the result over us, but I know they'll be wanting to, and they really came firing at us last time when we, when they played us at Central Coast Stadium. But again, we got to go there just like this, with the same attitude and same mindset that we did with the first time we went there. And again, we have the attacking power. We have the we have the mindset to go there and just win. Yeah, if you're talking defensive efforts, who do you, I don't think fear is the right word, but who mm. has to be watched closely in their attacking field? Um, I think they have all quality players all over the park again. I think um, they have a very strong side, very experienced. I think um, Brandon Borello has been in great form. He's scoring goals and he's and he's doing a great job for them. And I think obviously their new striker that they brought in, he's obviously we haven't seen a lot of him, but he's shown a bit of talent. So again, 
But we're not focused on that. We're focused on ourselves. We're going to go there and we're going to score goals, and that's our goal. Yeah, I like it. Mm. And, uh, mate, uh, a couple of changes at the back, but one of the real positives out of last week, and I'll ask Monty this question as well, is the performance of Storm Roo, who's now the match, but also Jacob Farrell, who moves into the middle of defence. And yeah. I think even Danny Vukovic said that could be his spot moving forward. What are your thoughts? Oh, I mean, Stormy had an amazing game. He did it with the goal line clearance. That was perfect. And then the assist as well. And then Jacob Farrell, I think, I've never seen him play in that position. But, I mean, he did an unbelievable challenge. Um, job there and the challenge that he made honestly reminded me of um, Harry Suda at the World Cup it was similar to when it was on the edge of the box but I think he's he's found a great position but I think anyone that comes in to the, those positions if we need to fill in they're, they're able to do it so regardless if we have um, players out or suspended then we're going to do well and those players will fit straight in uh, Final question for you mate from me what are your dreams and hopes and aspirations 22 now but your best years are well ahead of you I think that's the one thing I learned when I was overseas, not to get too far ahead of myself and think of where I want to be at. Or I'm just kind of now that I'm back here, I'm just really content and happy that I'm here. And that's that's when I'm playing my best football, just being happy. And then if there's going to be opportunities in the future, then they can come. But right now I'm focused on here and now and just doing well in the league and doing well for the team.